On today's video, I'm going to be doing the Goober Burger out of Sedalia, Missouri. And I apologize if I butchered that name, Sedalia, but that's how I'm reading it. Let's get going. The Goober Burger is one of those regional burgers and it was invented by a little diner in the 1940s called the Wheel Inn in Sedalia, Missouri. And out of homage to my late grandmother, I'm gonna say Missouri. It's a very, very unique burger you'll see. And unfortunately, the Wheel Inn closed their doors in 2007 because of a highway project. Some former employees reopened the Wheel, Wheel Inn and it lasted until 2013, closed for good. Now there are some other videos out there that you know are burger with peanut butter on it. They're not a goober burger. I am. I went through a lot of links to kind of get all the details of this burger. Some really good interviews, some video footage, and I actually called one of the restaurants in Sedalia that's still serving up this burger. And one of the greatest things I found was a copy of the menu. So. You'll see some of the other videos that are on YouTube. They're all great videos, but they're missing the mark a little bit on the way this burger is dressed. Um, and my feeling is the Goober Burger is the name of the burger. It's not a type of burger. So if we're going to be historically accurate, we need to follow the details. So let's get going with the cook. So I'm using the Blackstone griddle today. I have these two burners on medium high. The other two burners are turned off, but it's plenty warm over there. On this far burner here, again, where it's just warm, I have a little pan with some melted Jif peanut butter. Put down some just plain hamburger buns. And at the wheel end, they'd actually have planks of wood laying across all the buns to make sure that they're getting really good contact with the flat top, which I think is cool. I don't have a plank to lay on it, so I'll just use my hand for a little bit. I've got some 80-20, it's a little over three ounces. Some salt on there. They use the old trowel spatula there, which I love. Good smash. So you can see how wet and shiny this burger is. We're ready to flip. And now we're going to put that melted peanut butter on the burger patty. Right, these buns are looking good. Okay, now on this top bun, the wheel in, put Miracle Whip. I'm actually more of a mayo guy, but again, we're keeping it legit here. Miracle Whip. All right, this is done. Get that patty down. All right, these next toppings are right off their menu and right out of a lot of interviews and everything. And it's probably not the way I would have taken this burger, but I'm very excited about this. But again, we're keeping this legit. So a slice of tomato and some iceberg lettuce, one leaf of iceberg lettuce, then the topping, that top bun. And there we are, the real Goober Burger. Let's give this a try. It smells good. <laughs> Cheers. The thing I love about these, these kind of diner burgers, these smashed diner burgers, is they're just so like fresh and hot when you, when you bite into these. I mean, they're just so steamy. Let's get back down to the burger here. So I want to say this. I'll, I'll have an end card at the end of this video. One of my top three burgers that I absolutely love is a copycat I did of, of a peanut butter burger. Peanut butter and beef walk hand in hand very well. There's just that, you know, that, that sweet kind of saltiness of the peanut butter going with that savoriness of the beef very, very well. Where I was getting a little concerned is with like the tomato on there, um, but it tastes good, so it works. Um, some people might be scratching their head about the mayo or the Miracle Whip. I'm a mayo guy personally, but again, it works with peanut butter. And something funny, again, my grandmother was from Missouri, Missouri. And I don't know if this is something that came from her, but my mom used to make these sandwiches for us when we were kids. Um, they were 
peanut butter, she called them peanut butter and relish sandwiches, but it, what it was was uh, peanut butter with like a sandwich spread. It was essentially mayo with relish mixed into it that you'd buy in a jar. And it actually, I, it, I haven't had one since I was in junior high, but it actually works very well together. I, I was telling my wife, I'm gonna try one out again. I'm gonna make a peanut butter relish sandwich. Good stuff, I like it. So big shout out to the folks over at Goody Steak Burger in Sedalia, Missouri for helping me out with some of the details of this historic burger. I appreciate your guys' comments. I appreciate your suggestions. If you're not subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And if you liked the video, I really hope you did. Thumb it up. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.